Hello Scorpio, Sun Rising and Venus and welcome to your reading. So today we're going to focus on your past, present as well as your future for the next seven days. For Scorpio, Sun Rising and Venus for the next seven days. All right, let's see what we got, Scorpio. So be dealing with an Aquarius strongly, possibly a Capricorn, maybe even a Taurus. Doesn't necessarily have to be the case but it's interesting the moment that i saw the uh naya wants to the devil the first thing that came to my mind is i gotta have you i don't know what that's all about but we'll get to that in a minute now in the recent past we do have the queen of pentacles we also have the six of pentacles as well as the star so in the recent past it kind of looks like something started to really fall into place here for you scorpio and this could have a lot to do with the relationship this could have a lot to do with work but it kind of looks like something started to kind of finally fall into place here for you um i do want to look at the queen of pentacles a little bit more just to kind of see what else i can get off of your overall energy i kind of feel like this is kind of leaning more towards work than love to be completely honest so for some of you you could have recently received a promotion at work possibly a raise uh for some of you you could have decided to finally turn that passion of yours into a business and it just so happens to be a hit it just so happens to be a success but i kind of feel like something fell into place here for you but i feel like it's kind of leaning more towards um um, work more than love is kind of what I'm getting. Tell me more about the Queen of Pentacles. Ooh. We have, okay, we have the, mm. we have the High Priestess. We have, interesting, King of Pentacles to the Temperance card. True pair situation here between you and this person. This is interesting because something's definitely falling into place here for you, Scorpio, but I don't feel like it has anything to do with love. I feel like it has everything to do with work. Like you recently received a promotion at work or possibly a raise, or maybe you were offered um, a brand new job opportunity elsewhere, or maybe you turn your passion of yours into a business, but it's interesting because I kind of feel like you're about to meet someone is kind of what I'm getting. I feel like you're about to meet someone. Whoever this somebody is, it's somebody who's very, very intuitive. Uh, this person could even have psychic abilities. With the temperance card coming out here, um, this person, they really, really do have your best interest at heart. Or they're going to have your best interest at heart, as I should say, because I don't feel like you've actually met this person in particular just yet. But the fact that you're showing up as a queen of pentacles and they're showing up as a king of pentacles is basically telling me that when you guys do collide into one another, um, you're going to find yourself feeling absolutely drawn to them and well, vice versa. It's interesting because I don't feel like you've actually met this person just yet. I don't feel like you've actually met this person just yet. I feel like spirit has been trying to get you... Um, to make room for other things to coexist in your life. Also too, Scorpio is kind of what I'm getting. So maybe as of lately, you've just been making work your main focus slash priority. Um, maybe you haven't been allowing other things to coexist in your life, but I feel like spirit is, well, yeah, I feel like spirit has been trying to get you to start allowing other things to coexist in your life. Don't make your whole entire life all about work. You know what I mean? Um, and I feel like it's because spirit's trying to prepare yourself for this king of pentacles yeah i feel like i feel like spirit's trying to get you to prepare yourself here for this king of pentacles arrival i do want to look at this king of pentacles though let's look at this king of pentacles a little bit more and see what else we can get here off of this person's overall energy so i'm more about this king of pentacles it's interesting because i don't feel like you've met this person just yet i don't with the ace of pentacles to the six of wands to the nine of wands i feel like when this person does meet you you're going to have a lot that they're basically looking for within a person. And I feel like that's something that they're definitely going to realize very, very early on within their involvement here with you that you do have a lot that they're actually looking for within a person. But there's something about them basically looking at you like you're a little bit too good for them is kind of what I'm getting. Um, there's also like an overall energy of them kind of looking at you like you're better than them. So I don't know. Maybe you make more money than this person does. Maybe you're more established than this person is. But yeah, there's, there's an energy of them kind of looking at you like you're better than them in some way, shape, or form. I just kind of feel like, you know, this is just them allowing their own insecurities to really get the best of them. I feel like this person's great. I feel like this person's perfectly fine. Um, but yeah, there's something about them looking at you like you're better than them in some way, shape, or form. I also kind of feel like... Um, I wouldn't say intimidated. I wouldn't say intimidated. That doesn't sound right to say. Um... 
I would say nervous. I would say nervous. I kind of feel like when this person does meet you, right? I feel like they're going to be very, very nervous. Um, but I feel like it has a lot to do with the fact that they tend to get nervous around people that are very, very attractive is kind of what I'm getting. They tend to get very nervous around people that are very, very attractive. So I feel like when they do meet you, they're going to be very, very nervous. But it's just because you're very, very attractive. That's weird. I don't even know if that's a real thing. Maybe it is. But that's kind of what I'm getting primarily is that this person gets very nervous around people that are very, very attractive. That's weird. I'm going to have to Google this after this. That's weird. I've never... Maybe that is a thing and I just don't know about it, I guess, whatever. But yeah, let's carry on. Now, currently at the moment, Scorpio, you are showing up as the Empress to the Six of Wands to the uh, Nine of Cups. So like I said, you know, the fact that you're going from a Queen of Pentacles to an Empress, and that's kind of making me feel like you're either about to receive a promotion at work or you already have, because I am kind of getting that for some of you. But it just kind of looks like, Right now, your main focus slash priority has a lot to do with your growth, your expansion, your success, you know, things of that nature. And remember when I was saying that spirit has been trying to get you to allow other things to kind of coexist in your life. Well, it kind of looks like spirit has been working with you for a while in regards to getting you to allow other things to coexist in your life because it kind of looks like you've just been making your business or your career, you know, your main focus slash priority to the point where you're really not allowing anything else to coexist in your life. But that's just because Spirit's trying to prepare you for this King of Pentacles arrival is kind of what I'm getting. But as far as like your life is concerned, as far as your life is concerned, Scorpio, it kind of looks like things are looking up here. It kind of looks like things are looking really great. A lot of things are falling into place here for you. You're feeling really good about life. You're really, you know, feeling good about your career or your business. If you do have one, things are just looking up. Things are looking great here for you. However... In the near future, we do have the Seven of Pentacles, we have the Devil, and then we also have the Knight of Wands. So just make sure that there's no kids around, please, um, before I say this. I feel like this is when you're about to meet this King of Pentacles. I feel like this King of Pentacles is harnessing this devilish energy. Now, this is kind of making me feel, and listen, don't be alarmed by what I'm about to say, but this is kind of making me feel like when this person does meet you, yes, they're going to find you to be very physically attractive, which we were already kind of getting that. It's weird. I feel like this person gets nervous around attractive people, but let's just roll with it. I'm going to have to Google that. I don't even know if that's a real thing, but whatever. Um, this person does find you to be very physically attractive. Let's just start there. So are they going to have a lot of lust and desire for you? Absolutely. I do see that happening, um, but I'm not really worried and concerned about it because I don't feel like that's all that they want if you know what i mean i don't feel like that's all that this person wants but i do feel like they're gonna have a very strong intense sexual desire for you but it's because they find you to be very physically attractive let's look a little bit more into this knight of wands devilish energy that they're coming in with tell me more about the knight of wands to the devil all right so let's see what we can get here mm. Okay, we have the Four of Cups, we have the King of Swords, and then we also have the Tower. This person, um, this person that you're about to meet, this King of Pentacles, okay, of yours, um, it kind of looks like they recently got out of a very toxic and unhealthy marriage. I am definitely getting that. And after this very toxic and unhealthy marriage that they were in, it caused them to want absolutely nothing to do with love. Again, to be completely honest, I am not really worried and concerned about this person um, or this connection here because even though they are kind of showing up in this connection, just wanting a good old time with you, mm -mm, I don't feel like it's going to play out that way. I feel like it's going to start that way, but I don't feel like it's going to play out that way. Like initially at first, yes, I do see this person just wanting to establish like a friends with benefits sort of situation with you, nothing more, nothing less. But I feel like it has a lot to do with this marriage or this relationship of theirs that went south. It caused them, like I said, to want absolutely nothing to do with love. Again, not really worried and concerned about it because I kind of feel like even though that's how it's going to start here between you and this person, it's definitely not how it's going to finish. That's one thing that I will say. So I'm worried about the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. 
So we do have the Ace of Cups, we have the Seven of Cups, and then we also have the King of Wands out here, as well as the Seven of Pentacles, because we are clarifying the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like in time, this person's going to realize that they want far more than just a friends with benefits sort of situation with you, okay? I feel like in time, they're going to want far more than just a friends with benefits sort of situation, and that's why I'm not really worried and concerned here um, about this person, how they're basically showing up. With the Ace of Cups and the Seven of Cups, that represents some is very crystal clear on what their heart wants which is basically you my friend so initially at first it kind of looks like what you guys are going to have is like a friends with benefits sort of situation here with one another i'll be honest i feel like here's the thing with you though scorpio is that when you do meet this person yeah you're going to feel very drawn to them and you're going to really like them i do see that happening however as far as like you pushing for something more serious to transpire here between you and this person. I just don't see that happening here on your end. It's like you're choosing to kind of just take things day by day. It's kind of like the whole whatever happens, happens. You know, if it leads to something serious and it does, if it doesn't, then it doesn't. It is what it is, right? Um, I want to see the outcome, though, between you and this person. Let's see the outcome, you guys. What's the outcome between Scorpio and this human that's showing up here for them? Yeah, I feel like in time, things are going to get more serious here between you and this person. Things are going to get more serious here between you and this person. That's why I'm not really concerned about how they're actually showing up in your life. Granted, you know, they are showing up with this mentality of I'm never going to fall for anybody ever again. And I'm definitely not going to fall for Scorpio. And I'm just going to have a good old time with them. Nothing more, nothing less. Yeah, all right. That's fine. But I just don't see it playing out that way. Um, if anything, I kind of see things getting more serious here between you and them because they're going to find themselves developing emotions for you. It's just going to happen. I just don't feel like they're anticipating all of this like I don't feel like they're anticipating to catch feelings for you or to even fall for you is kind of what I'm getting but it kind of looks like and this is this is what I actually like about your relationship with this person because yes things are going to get more serious here between you and them but it's going to happen when the both of you are actually ready to take things a step further here with one another it's not going to be that that case where they're ready for something serious and you're not and or vice versa it's going to happen when the both of you are actually ready to take things a step further here with one another but that's kind of cute you know that they're kind of walking into your life trying to convince themselves in advance that they're not going to fall for you and that they're not going to catch feelings for you and then boom that ends up happening in the end where they catch feelings for you and they end up falling for you but it is what it is it happens all right let's pull some romance angel cards to see what we get here so we do have wedding okay oh my god this is like my favorite freaking combo of all times oh yeah listen you guys are going to reach higher levels of commitment with one another. That's kind of besides the point here because I was already getting that, okay? Now, with wedding coming out here, there's a possibility that the two of you could end up getting married to one another. But I always say this in my readings. That really does kind of all depend on you as well as your human um, because some people out there don't believe in marriage. Um, so it could lead to marriage. But then again, if you don't believe in marriage, then obviously it's not going to reach that point. But one thing that I will say is that, yes, it will reach higher levels of commitment here. So with all of that being said, it kind of looks like you guys are going to end up together. Kind of looks like you guys are going to end up together. But I find it to be kind of funny that they're kind of walking into your life, kind of convincing themselves that they're not going to fall for you or catch feelings for you. Um, but it kind of looks like in the end, that's what ends up happening is that they end up catching feelings for you. So, yeah, it kind of looks like things are going to get more serious here between you and them when you're ready as well as when they're ready. Because I don't feel like it's going to happen that way where you're going to be ready and they're not going to be ready or they're going to be, you know, ready and you're not. I just said that, you know, vice versa. You know what I mean? Point is, is that things are going to get more serious here between you and this person. But it will happen when the both of you are actually ready to take things a step further here with one another. All right, so that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. And I will see you guys at your next reading. Bye.